So when he would tell me, initially when we started dating, maybe I would do something to piss him off. He would be like, I need time. I'll get back to you in two hours. And I will start fighting. I was, I was, no, no, no. I need to be your way of you that? My way or the highway. What do you mean? Two hours. Let's talk about it. Be a man. <laughs> Face me. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of The Gold B Show, where I'm your host, Ele Gold B, and today I have a very special guest with me, my sister, my friend, she's an HR professional, she is the CEO, or the CEO <laughs> of Yoma's Hair Extensions, which we are currently wearing. <laughs> she is the soft life queen, I mean, look at her. Welcome to the show, Yoma. <laughs> I'm so excited to have you here. Finally. If we're talking so, about this. You know, you know how your friends know your life and then they want to expose you on your show. This is what is happening right now. She said finally. <laughs> you know, we've actually been planning this yeah. for a while. Yeah. So it's so amazing. And the funny thing is, so she held my book, right? Um, if you don't know, I am the author. Mm -hmm. Of the book, uh -huh. the beautiful girl, you are gold. <laughs> you know, so she held it in her hands today and she was just like, wow, like going through it, like it's in her hands. It's reality. It's reality. Like I remember when we'll go to brunch and we'll talk about um, the book and just everything that I've been planning. So for her to see it live in person and be on the show and be on the show too <laughs> that is so so that's amazing yeah. and thank you so much for supporting me thank you i'm not proud of please you guys have to get this will go if you know that thing okay okay so let's go back to the topic of the show man mm -hmm. get the book get the book it's going to help you yeah. a whole lot so Today, we're going to be talking about, you know, when girls talk, what do we do most times? Even if we talk about business, we talk about all of that, we shall find a way, man. We find a way <laughs> to go back to who? Adam. <laughs> we, we, we talk about our love lives, you know, our experiences and things of that nature. And I think it's so important. Yeah, definitely. Because conversations really will transform you. Yeah. You know, if your girl is going through something, mm -hmm. you know, there, there are times we've talked, we've discussed on relationships when we're both single. Yeah. We discussed a whole lot and now we're both married. Yeah. Glory to God. Yeah. You know, we talk talk about things expectations you know how to handle things and i think that's absolutely beautiful so today we're going to be discussing on you are the red flag mm -hmm. where's the topic nobody wants to hear the, the topic nobody <laughs> wants to hear i promise you <laughs> the table we want to shake the table today <laughs> yeah so now i want to give a little story of when <laughs> there was a time in my life <laughs> obviously when i was single yeah I realized that I was the men I was date I was dating. They were they were always looking the same. Wait, you said looking not physically, not physically. Like yeah. their character, the way they would treat me, um, them being you know not prioritizing me, not being available, and I was always ready to pour love. I was always ready to be their prayer partner, to be their peace, mm -hmm. to be all of that. But I was not receiving it. Mm -hmm. And I would always like go to my girlfriends back then and I would cry, you know, I would tell them like, I don't understand what's going on. It was the same pattern re repeating over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. And I, so someday I just, I'm not even sure if I was having a conversation with someone or I came to this realization on my own, but I was like, wait, I'm dating the same types of men. What is going on? And in as much as I was pointing, I was like, yeah, this one is a gaslighter. This one is a cheater. This one lied. This one was not available. I kept pointing my finger and truly they did have some of those characteristics, right? But as I was pointing, I realized what? <laughs> Something, is pointing back at Something was pointing back at me. Oh. 
at least three, hours. at least three, <laughs> at least three. So no, no, just points right now. At least three is pointing back at you, ma. <laughs> you are the red flag. I'm not too. <laughs> well, but tell my passion. Do you understand? See how many yeah. fingers are coming back to me? Yeah. I realized that I was the red flag. The things I was complaining about. Even if not the exact same thing. Even if it was not exactly yeah. the same thing, me dating the same types of people, having the same experiences over and over and over again, I came to realize that I was a common denominator in all of this. And I had to just take inventory of my life. And I said, you know what? I've messed up too. I had to come to that point of taking responsibility for my own life. You know, because I always said, you know, I wanted to be with a certain type of person. Yeah. I wanted to be with a certain type of man. But all the ones I was meeting, uh, is that right, English? Yeah. All the ones that I was meeting did not match up to the standard that I wanted. So I had to figure like, okay, what's going on? Where have I gone wrong? Right? I think the last relationship I was in at a certain age, like my early 20s, was the one that really broke me. I had to take inventory of my life and say, okay, yeah, he did his own, but where did I go wrong? Yeah. Which is a very difficult place to be. Maturity to do that. It takes a whole lot of maturity to say, okay, wait, I'm the hot mess in this. Yeah. Have you ever experienced that? Where you knew you, you were the one who yeah. messed up. Well, you're the one who had character flaws. You are the one who had yeah. bad behavior. Yeah. I think I would label it being, is it indecisive? Oof, that's another that one. Is, I feel a, a major issue that a lot of women have. Yeah. And we don't really know because you feel like you're the hot kick. Oof. This all comes, um, okay, I'm talking to you. This person comes, I'm talking to you. I know I don't want Mr. A, but I have not fully left Mr. A. Oof. And I'm talking to Mr. B. Oof. Do you understand? Are we going uh, there? Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Oh, hey, I'm good. <laughs> but it comes a time in your life that you just have to sit down. This is what happened to me. I just had to sit down and say, okay, I've been going around the circle with, this was my previous relationship. Before, right. And I had met my husband already. Mm -hmm. We're talking. And I knew that this relationship with Mr. A was not working. A little bit fully. I was trying to hold on. No, I was trying to. Build another human being from the two of them. <laughs> I said, okay, I want. Okay, okay. I had a book. I'm not even joking. Wow. I had a book that qualities I like, qualities I don't like. Oh, that A. The qualities I like, qualities You're I don't like, Mr. B. And I said, okay. They're touching the nerve. Point. You just have to say, mm. I'm causing a problem. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. Me being indecisive is a problem. It's a problem. A you big problem. Have, yes. Because I'm not even letting the other person go fully. Yeah. <laughs> to go enter their own yeah. destiny. You're holding, you're trying to hold on to two people. Even if or I don't know you, but when you call me, I pick, I talk to you. Yeah. There's a problem. That's a problem. So, wow. I just had to sit back one day. I don't even know where, as you said, I don't know where it came from. I just had to realize that you, ma, you can't keep doing this. Wow. You just have to grow up. You have to you grow up. Have Ooh, to that's grow. a word and a half. Yeah, you have to grow up. And at that point, you realize that nobody's perfect, but the the, your characters, what you want in your partner. Now I'm coming from an aspect of relationship. Yeah. What do I want? Does this person tick at least majority of it? If they do, why not? Yeah. Other things are things that you can work on. Right. They're not character flaws. Right. You understand? Right. Like, yeah. for example, I know we all have, well, majority of women have a list of what they yeah. want in a partner. Right? What when do you think about this? I, I have a list. I made I made a list. Uh -huh. They have a list. I did. <laughs> I think it's important for me because I needed a visual or in, I needed something on paper to know that, okay, these are the things I wanted so that when he showed up, I could go and match him against my list and say, okay, yeah. does he meet certain important things? Mm -hmm. Again, they may not always meet everything on your yeah. list and that's okay. As long as they meet the important ones, like, you know, character. That's what I said. Yeah. What are his habits like? Values. What are his values? Does he value family? How does he treat other people? How does he treat other people? How does not he just treat the waiters? Not just you, not just his mom. But like, how does he treat other people, right? Those things are very, very important. And, you know, it's not just about the list for him. What about a list for you? Throw more lines on that. What do you mean? 
No, so you know how we've written a list, like, okay, you want him tall, dark, okay. handsome, God-fearing. Yeah. What else is on your list? <laughs> Tell well, me, is it values? But yeah, you know, like okay, a, a man who works out and looks good. That, those were the things on my list. Yeah. I wanted a man who loved God and was serving in church. Yeah, right. A man who would, you know, not kiss me to my wedding day. <laughs> <laughs> you know, which I got. You know, yeah. a, a man who would honor your body. Yeah, things of that nature. We have all these things. A man who prioritizes family who has moral values, character, things of that nature. But what is your own list for yourself? You know, we may have all these things that we want in a partner, mm -hmm. but do you have those qualities? Exactly, because the men too, as well, they have their list. They have their list of high value that you want. Has his own list. He has, he has what his list. He, he has his own requirements yeah. for who he wants to marry. So it's not just, okay, me, I have my list, so he doesn't meet up, he doesn't measure up. Do you measure up? Yeah, success. And I know this, this question <laughs> may seem like an attack, you know, if, depending on what perspective you're coming from, but they're really not. So for me, when I was writing my list, I had just gone through one of the worst heartbreaks, you know, and I think this is the heartbreak I talk about a lot because that was the game changing. It shook me. <laughs> it shook me from my depths. I didn't think I would ever recover. Mm -hmm. And I bless God for that heartbreak. It made you who you are today. It refined you. It, ref it helped me in the process. God made me who I am, you know. But that heartbreak was what, it was like a catalyst to help me. Yeah. The rejection was a catalyst to help me become. Like this person rejected me. I said, Jesus. <laughs> Is this me? <laughs> Is this me? <laughs> like, if I could be rejected that much, who would accept me? And that was where I found God. That was my story, you know, where God found me, really, you know, yeah. because, yeah, he's always looking for us. Okay. You know, but that relationship, that heartbreak shook my depths. I know I was pointing fingers and saying, he's this, he was yeah. this, he's that, whatever. But after a while, I had to take inventory and say, wait, where did I go wrong? What was your role? What was my role? How did I contribute to this? And it's not always easy taking responsibility. Oh, it's always easy to put on yeah. the responsibility to on someone else. Yeah. He did it. She did it. Yeah, true. You know, it's always them. But when it comes to you, no. it's no. I mean, saints. Yeah, true. Do you understand? So for me, I had to get to that point mm -hmm. where I took inventory of my life my behaviors, my character, and I started finding out that I was deeply flawed. In that season, I truly called myself a hot mess because I had so much work, my perspective on things, my mindset. It was so warped. Like, I was like, thank God. Like, a question I asked myself then is, knowing all I know about me now, would I marry me? And the answer was no. I wouldn't marry someone like me at the time. And if you cannot answer that question, knowing what you know about you, would you marry you? Yeah, I think I read something like that from Pastor Kiss. Yeah. Kings. Yeah. And, and I that I think well, that was one of the questions that yeah. you balance. I'm like, because you really know you. Yeah, you know you. You know you all there is to you. You don't know the social media. You you know no no no. You, 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 you don't know the <laughs> that's a word. That's a, there is no social media. You're on this <laughs> social media you. The real you, yeah. the one who eats at midnight and leaves the plate under the bed. That wakes up without making your bed. That wakes up with, that's even small. <laughs> <laughs> you know the real you. Yeah. So you knowing the real you, can you date you? Can you marry? Can you marry you? Would you be comfortable, content and happy marrying you as you are right now? Would you want to be the mother of your children? Like, Oof. if you were a man, would you want you to be the mother of your children? Wow. These are, these, are, these are very deep questions to ask. And I know this, this conversation is not so easy. It's not easy. And I know it may sound light, but it's not. It's true. Until you can take that, come to that place of taking stock of your life. What do you want? Becoming accountable. Taking responsibility. Mm -hmm. Being intentional with who you are. Mm -hmm. 
you will keep remaining what you want out of life. And what you want out of life, you keep remaining a red flag. You know, it's so easy to point out the bad character maybe a man is exhibiting yeah. or the bad habits or the inconsistencies. And I'm not saying those things are excusable, not at all. But are you perfect? Let's talk about perfection. And you mentioned, you mentioned earlier how for you it was like you wanted something from Mr. A. You also wanted qualities from Mr. B. You wanted to, to be, I, I call it build me a man. <laughs> you see qualities in different men that you want, so you start picking it out. It's not a cake you're trying to make, you know, for a. I'm trying to make my own cake. Do you understand? <laughs> you're trying to make your own cake, make your own man, yeah. right? Yeah. The truth is, most times, people call me never 100%. True. I don't think you ever get a 100%. Yeah. And the thing is, as you evolve, as yeah. you start spending time together, different things you would see for myself, mm -hmm. you would see your partner evolve. Yeah. You would see that little, okay, and I don't know, someone was talking and they said, your words are seeds. They are. Right? Your words so are you, seeds. You're seeing it grow. Right. Oh, you're seeing oh, those characters good. that you want become better. Become better. The ones that you felt like, oh, you mm -hmm. didn't deal with. In their things that you can work on, you can see it improve yeah. over time. So I, I would also want us to talk about, like, for example, some bad habits women come into relationships with. So let's say, for, for instance, um, a woman comes into a relationship and she's shouting. She has a very loud voice. She's nagging. She's always shouting on her partner. And him being the man that he is, decides he's not going to respond by yelling back. Mm -hmm. So he decides, instead of yelling back, I'm going to pull out. I need to take time to process this. And then she sees that, oh, he's taking time away and he doesn't want to communicate with me. And then she decides to label it as, that's a red flag. We're not doing this. <laughs> Check yourself, girl. So now I want to talk about how... Just because you don't like something someone is doing does not mean it's a red flag. Yeah, true. You know, you may just feel like, oh, people react differently. People react differently to things, but not everything is a red flag because you don't like it. Yeah, true. If that man truly just says, you know, you're yelling right now and I can't handle this. I need space. You have to be mature enough to say, okay, that's fine. Take the space you need. And when you're done taking space... I to process, come when, back. When, when that becomes like a red flag is when I've heard of people who are in a relationship and they say, okay, maybe something happens. Yeah. And the guy goes off for like a month. Okay, no, 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 no. So no, 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 no. Break. I no, no, no. Deal with it. And <laughs> we are not communicating. Yeah, no, 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 no. I call it one don't. month. A one month break is a breakup. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so how no, long no. break? No, so the, break. the thing is how long break is a break yeah. is you have to get to the point where you agree. I need 30 minutes to think. Yeah, exactly. I need one hour. Let me sleep over this and I will get back to you tomorrow. Yeah. There needs to be a defined end time. You've heard this statement that says, don't go to bed and with your partner. How does that work? Almost, I'm always there. We go. <laughs> because, but well, the bottom line is don't take too long. Don't well, take that, too long. There should be an yeah. end time. Yes. Do you understand? I think for a healthy relationship, there has yeah. to be an end time. Yeah. And I would like to also ask, because for me, I hadn't been in so many healthy relationships prior to getting married. Yeah. And by God's grace, I'm married to a healthy man. Yeah. We have a healthy relationship. So when he would tell me, initially when we started dating, Maybe I would do something to piss him off. Mm -hmm. He would be like, I need time. Mm -hmm. I'll get back to you in two hours. And I will start fighting. I was, I was, no, no, no. I'll send it to be your way. Or that, me. My way yeah. or the highway. What do you mean? Two hours. Let's talk about it. Be a man. <laughs> Face me. <laughs> Where you know what to? Where are running to? But the funny thing is, over time, I had to learn that... I had to learn love languages. Yeah, I had to learn apology mm -hmm. languages as well. Apology is hard though. Apology is hard. I can just maybe do something nice for you. I don't know what to say sorry. To say sorry. You say that, that is a red that flag. That's a red flag. Red flag. <laughs> You're the red flag. They told me how to. So you see, it's so, it's so real. Yeah. 
sometimes for women, it's so hard for us to apologize. It's so hard for us to let go of a certain mindset, yeah. right? You know, so like my husband telling me that first time, well, we were still dating, he was telling me he needed time off. And I got so defensive. It triggered me. Why? Because a previous relationship I was in, that was an excuse to ghost. Okay. So I was now trying to bring it into this new one. But what? He just needed time. He just needed time. And truly, after taking the time, he would come back. So when I saw consistency in his actions, I was about to say that. When I saw consistency, two hours, two hours. his two hours is his two hours. Yeah. Or maybe one hour, you know, but not, but not more than that. If he needed more time, he would, he would communicate that. Yeah. So that's healthy right there. You know, or so like, sometimes it's not like the guy is ghosting you. Right. He has just seen his trades. He has seen rent flags. <laughs> you know, women, women are not the only ones who yeah. see red flags. Men see red flags as well. Yeah, sure. And I think what's even more, most important is that you're able to see your own red flags and then make the necessary corrections and the changes that you need. Trust me, I've had mine. She's had hers. And it's not like, okay, all the red flags, you just find all at once. I think they also develop over time. You know, because sometimes you may get complacent. Yeah. You just get too familiar. Sure. You know, there are certain times in our lives that these things happen, but we have to be very intentional with our growth. And I think that yeah. you should, people should be teachable. Ooh. When you're teachable, even those around you can yeah. really tell you that. I think I've noticed, noticed wrong. I've noticed that in certain relationships, you've been acting a certain way. Yeah. But when you're not teachable, probably I'm being defensive. Like, ah, oh, no. That's not that your war. Oh, you, you say, ah, no. So there's yeah. only, let me just. Yeah. Save myself and, and sometimes, because if you're not teachable, your friends may notice something. Yeah, with you. You're good friends, yeah. but they may not be able to tell you yeah, sure. because you've built up walls, you've built up a defense, a defense mechanism to protect yourself. Yeah. When really what they're trying to do is to help you to see beyond, to see beyond where you're at. Right. Yeah. So while wow. you're able to have people in your corner that tell you the truth. People that tell you the not, truth. It's not just friends that agree with everything you say. Oh, oh yeah, no, 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 let's sing this. Oh yes, it's true. Sometimes, no. Yeah. You know, you know, the funny thing is, you know, cause sometimes when you, you, you just think you're just, you know, all angelic and perfect. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> <laughs> like I remember one of my friends, my other friends, she called me out. She's like, why do you do this? And I personally did not even see it that way. And I was very happy that my friend was actually able to call me out on a behavior yeah. that I had and being able to accept it. Yeah. And it's not always been that way for me. I used to be very, very defensive before. Like you tell me and I'm like, ah, what are you trying to say? Or you find a reason why you did what you did. Yes. Oh. Da -da -da. No, I did it because <laughs> what you did is at the end. They really no. I, you know, you're trying to explain your behavior if you catch yourself yeah. always trying to explain your behavior you have an answer for everything you, have an answer for everything you do wrong <laughs> system he's not even know my words that's that's a red flag <laughs> <laughs> wow that that's a good one that's a good one you cut right there so yes being being teachable helps you i'm um, even asking for feedback yes i did that to set it up even yeah. with my friends yeah oh yes yes Look like, up, guys, how are you feeling? You know, yeah. yes, being a red flag is not only in relationships. I know we talk about relationships a lot, but even in your friendships as well. You know, like I've gotten to a point where I, I, I'm being more intentional with my friendships. Yeah. And I ask, like, do you feel like I'm being a good friend to you? Yeah. In what ways can I improve? When can I improve? Like, what did I do this week that you liked? Just yesterday, I was chatting with my friend. I told her, I'm yeah. him around. And we were playing these card games that you tend to ask yourself questions yeah and one of i can't remember the question but she told me that she felt like oh she know now i'm better but before i didn't used to share as much mm. and that didn't come from a place of me not wanting to share but i just i, I had built this wall on myself i did not even know i was doing strong that strong boundaries yes. oh. so when she told me and i was like oh thank you very much mm. So you must be willing to, you will be open. Right. Yeah. And I'm also grateful for friends who are able to pick up certain traits that 
change in you. Yeah. You know, it's so important. Yeah, evolving. You're evolving. Yeah. So yeah. that's the very... you've had over the years. Yes. I'm not the same person yeah. I was five years ago. Yeah, and we change and it's okay. So I, I think, um, you know, you being the red flag is not a red flag. <laughs> How about it has saved? <laughs> yes. Yeah. You realizing that in your friendship, in your relationship, yeah. you being the red flag is not a red flag. It's actually a green flag to be able to identify yeah. where you're going wrong. Yeah. And steps and measures to change and become better. Sure. So the the truth of the matter is we keep evolving. And as long as you're intentional with everything and you want to become the best version of you, you would always be open to learning, to correcting, you know, patterns and habits and healing from traumas, which is really a huge thing. Really, really huge. Going to see a therapist to help you, you know, having friends in your corner, in your circle that help you evolve, level up into the next version that you're supposed to be. So, so important. It's not healing and going into a new relationship. Like that person is going to, it takes a lot of maturity. Yeah. So that person is now going to do work, double yeah. work for you. If they're a good person, so if they're a healthy person. You first. Yeah. Oh, you, you know, there's something my pastor always says, heal before you heal so you don't bleed on your next ah. right yes heal yeah. so i don't bleed heal from your ex so you, so you don't bleed on your next Write that down right and down <laughs> <laughs> it's so important yeah. you know heal so you don't go into the so next relationship okay. bleeding yeah. right it's so so important so ladies everyone watching this it's okay if there are traits within you that needs to be worked on, right? Just being intentional with your life, with your friendships, with your relationships, so important. It helps you become a better version of yourself, right? When people ask, how do I know I have red flags? Become self-aware. So one, you, you know by becoming more self-aware, questioning everything you do. Yeah. You know, if my friend should text me, you know, I think there was one time you sent me a message. No, no, no. I sent her a DM on Instagram. She didn't reply me. She now started sending me memes and reels. I was like, see this one. Why like relationship. <laughs> a relationship. Right? So I'm like, why did she not answer me? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, and I started I, I almost started getting angry. But then I said to myself, maybe she didn't see it. True. Right? Which can be an oversight. Which that can be an oversight. No, I didn't even need to communicate it with oh, you. Really? Yeah. yeah. I was just like, she didn't see it. And I was like, you know, it's okay. I let it go. So questioning everything, like, okay, why didn't Yoma reply me? So the questioning can go in both ways. Either questioning it with the person or questioning it with yes, yourself. You can question with yourself. You know, I was mature enough to, and I'm not saying you're immature if you're questioning with the person. Yes, I, I see that. I was just at the yeah. point where I was like, you know what? It's not that I can res it's not that deep. I can resolve it on my own. It's not a big deal. And I did. But if there are things that you need to go to the person and talk about I feel hurt for certain things. I feel you hurt me. Yeah. Your actions hurt me. I feel like th those situations need to be talked about. I don't think yes. you should rush it over because when you do, uh -huh. it will come up again. And you know the funny thing. Devils. Yes. <laughs> I know the funny thing. If you find yourself talking about your friend's hurtful actions to someone else then that means you need to talk to them oh you know she did this to me should i even ask her ask her <laughs> no it's true because i've caught myself talking about another friend with someone yeah meanwhile all i needed to do was talk to was just go and talk to the person. You go talking to everybody so else. else. The person talk to you. Like you, the person you're tired of being the bigger person. <laughs> yeah, that was the oh, what do you think about that? The, being the bigger person. Uh, it's, it's not every time. It's not every time no, like try as much as possible. I feel like if you're in a friendship or a relationship where you can't talk to the other person, that's a red flag. True. If I can't talk with you, once so, like relationships are not always sweet and dandy. Things go wrong. And it's okay to communicate. You know, I know we know that things go wrong in romantic relationships, but what about with friendships? That's a, that's a problem. We, we just were like, ah, no, she did this, I'm done. No. You know, friends, girls are easy to cut off. He's like, yeah, you give him a mini chance. And, uh, <laughs> man, <boo. laughs>
<laughs> it was busy. What am I in God? Such a right friend, right? <laughs> you know, it's so, it's so. We give guys so I many chances. They hold me to be content. Friendship is a whole new topic. I'll <laughs> discuss that later. Let's all discuss that later. So, anywho, yeah. talking about, let's just round out now. How has how have you been able to find red flags within yourself? And what can you tell the girl out there who was listening to this, who relates with what we're talking about? You know, what would you tell her in discovering the red flags within herself and working on those things to become a better version of herself? Okay, so just like you said earlier, you have to do the either or. Yes. You have to be able to calm down. No, I really do. You have to be able to sit down and say, it's just so like what happened to you. How come I'm choosing the same kind of people, even in friendships? Uh, sometimes your friend is not always the bad person. How can I be a better person? How am I not doing right? So ask yourself those innate questions. And I feel like that's basically just yeah. how I come about it. Yeah, basically. That's good. And read. Ever yes. hold your mind. Read. Read. Lord, read. read. It will help you. It will help your mind. Yeah. It will shape you. And you can get this on the website, www.alegoldb.com and any of the social, my social media platforms. You can get that. It will help you. It will help you do that inner work that evolves you into a better version of yourself. So thank you all so much for tuning um, on today's episode of The Gold Bee Show. Make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment, share this with your girlfriends, maybe your boyfriends. And most importantly, make sure you apply the principles to your own life because a better version of yourself is awaiting. Thank you so much. Until next time. Thank you. <laughs>